Action out of the 135 pound weight class. Fighting out of the red corner, he's got the black trunks on and weighing in at 136. He represents TriStar with a 4 1 and 1 record from Montreal, Mike Golden One Door. And fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the black trunks with the blue trim and weighing in at 135. Representing the Institute with a record of 24 8 and 1. From New Jersey, Malcolm, Mr. Smooth Hill. Justin Greskowitz, our official, provides the instructions to our two fighters before what should be an outstanding fight scheduled for five two-minute rounds at 135 pounds. A familiar face on this promotion, Malcolm Hill, a.k.a. Mr. Smooth, on the left side of your screen, wearing the blue and black, takes on a newcomer to Friday Night Fights in Mike Dorr, a six-foot-one versatile fighter who is also an amateur boxer in addition to his Muay Thai exploits. That was a funny little thing there in the beginning. Uh, Dorr was kind of bouncing around on his feet, and then Smooth was kind of doing it, and then Smooth bent over and shook his arms out, and... Dorr kind of copied him. It was like it's almost kind of getting in his head by the more experienced fighter. Mike Dorr, born in Italy, raised in Montreal, Canada. His family originally from Burundi in Africa. But now he calls Montreal home, does Mike Dorr, known as the Golden One. This is his first appearance on Friday Night Fights and a decisive height advantage over the skilled Malcolm Hill. Dorr is six foot one. Malcolm is just 5'8". And it's not something Malcolm is used to dealing with, not at this level. Such a decisive height difference between these two. Malcolm is very composed, though. Kind of oh. dealing with the strikes and kind of reading his opponent. Well, we don't call him Mr. Smooth for nothing. This is the man, the man who won the most recent eight-man tournament, the famed Friday Night Fights eight-man tournament. Beat three guys in one night back in May of last year. Beautiful low kick. And Set that up nice, didn't he? That's the first time we've seen Malcolm on Friday Night Fight since that time. And he's in tough against Mike Dorr. It's a good even matchup, though. It doesn't seem like one person stronger than the other one or more skilled than the other one. Or Beautiful reflexes by Malcolm Hill. Good dump. Dorr shakes it off like, that. Ah, it didn't phase me. Hill 24, 8, and 1 coming into action tonight. Mike Dorr 4, 1, and 1 in Muay Thai, but he's 12, and 1 in boxing. Smooth tries to take the legs out again. Doesn't work this time. Dorr's ready for it, and there's the bell in round number one. I'd like to see Dorr push the pace a little bit more. I think like a guy like Malcolm Smith, Mr. Smooth, he's looking to try to bring the pace of the fight down and kind of relax a little bit more. But I think if Dorr pushes the action, he'll be a little bit more effective. Probably the most eye-popping moment of that first round when Hill kind of anticipated that head kick try from Dorr and slammed him onto the canvas. You, you kind of see what I'm talking about. Like, Dorr came out fast, and the more experienced fighter, Hill, kind of slowed the pace down a little bit and used his body language and his movement to kind of bring the fight to the pace that he wants to fight. And it almost started, like I said, before the round even started when Hill bent over and shook his arms out and... I think without even realizing that Dorr just mimicked him, and he already getting inside of his head, little little tricks like that. Malcolm Hill training out of the Institute in New Jersey under Mike Burke. On the other side, Mike Dorr, a student of Philippe Allaire, former pro fighter in his own right. Underway in round two, we're scheduled for five at 135 pounds. Mike Dorr in the black trunks, Malcolm Hill in the blue with black. Mike Dorr's got that height, and he's kind of flicking that jab out. I'd like to see him put a little more steam on it. You would think he'd be trying to exploit that reach yeah, advantage. Yeah, I mean, that, that jab was a little bit stiffer. But you can also see he's bouncing, he's bringing his feet together, which is going to make him vulnerable for that low kick. Yeah, it's funny how Hill kind of slows the pace down. It's, it's kind of cool to watch. Malcolm Mill known for his extreme composure there. We can recall a year ago when he won the eight-man tournament, he was almost coasting at times. It seemed like another tremendous dump as 
Hill takes the leg out from Mike Doerr once again after anticipating the head kick. Hey, he's just neutralizing all Doerr's offensive strikes. And he's almost being, he's fighting on the outside, which is funny, because he's the shorter fighter. He's making the taller fighter reach. He's taking his height and reach advantage away by making him either get right at the end of his punches where he's like overextending himself and he's off balance. And then he shuts it down by closing the distance really tight and not letting him get off on the inside either. What's funny about Malcolm Hill sometimes, he almost seems like he's taking it easy in there and sometimes he gets the crowd frustrated but he's so skilled. Yeah, he's just picking guys apart. He picks his shots and gets that. out. Did you see that? He just kind like of that. dropped his head, slid the right hand over the top of his head, and chopped with the low kick. Just like that. Dora trying to respond. But, but that's, by that's where Dora, yeah, that's where Dora's got to keep that action coming. He's got to, where he kind of gets Hill to take that slide off to the left or the right, he's got to jump right on him and stay on him. But Malcolm with that awesome footwork, able to escape major damage, and there's the bell in round two. Malcolm Hill most recently fighting in Thailand at the WKA International Tournament, took second place. And he's back in the States that he learned a tremendous about when he was overseas, fought in the gym that's run by P.K. Sanchai. It's an excellent gym. Picked up a lot of pointers fighting in the Muay Thai capital of the world. And he looks very prepared to... Yeah, right there, he slides that right hand over the top of his head. Right Show, there, chop. <laughs> strutting some of the new tricks that he's learned. Not that we should be surprised. This is the type of exhibition we're used to seeing from Malcolm Hill. But yeah, really, I'm, I'm very, yeah, very impressed. Impressive. I know I used that word a lot tonight. But he is. He is excellent, and he's been that so far against Dor, who we were very excited to see. While we have a moment, let's quickly say hello to the guys at Tough Guy CBD, who helped sponsor Mike Dor's trip to the U.S. and also. Mike Dorr wanted to dedicate this fight to everyone around the world fighting against mental illness. So a noble cause for Mike Dorr and company tonight as he represents TriStar Gym in Canada, the home of such great names in the fight game as George St. Pierre and many others. Mike yeah. making his first visit to Friday Night Fights and in tough against the man known as Mr. Smooth who flashes a smile to the crowd as he gets tied up in the neutral corner. Yeah, see, Dior's pushing the action a little bit more, and he's a little more successful with that style. wonder if there's a little more urgency after yeah. a couple of successful rounds for Hill. But he kind of stays right there and takes a pause. You know, he throws, gets his arms a little wide when he throws the punches. And right as Dior tries to open up, it's, and there finally, it's Dior able to get the best of Hill in the clinch. Right as Dior was trying to open up and extend, Hill got inside right away. Yeah, he's sneaky. And there's a nice... See, little things like that will get inside the fighter's head. And now let's see if Hill starts to turn it up a little bit more and kind of fight out of his comfort zone. You now you get knocked down twice in a row. Sometimes it gets in your head. You're like, man, I got to come back. And then you start fighting out of your comfort zone and fighting out of a you know, different style, and you kind of get caught with certain things. Best moments of the fight so far for Dor here in this third round. But he's off balance after the clinch breaks apart with Hill. Just dominating him in the clinch with that arm control. Goes to the sweep. Good balance by Hill. This is Friday Night Fights brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. Ari Alagami with Jason Stroud. We're watching Malcolm Hill in the black with blue trim taking on Mike Dorr in the all black with the red gloves. This is round three of a scheduled five at 135 pounds. Right there, he should have jumped on him and stayed on him. <laughs> Mr. Smooth, Malcolm Hill. Looking to verse what would be his 25th win. There's the bell in round three. The best of the bunch so far for Mike Doerr. But Hill seemed to kind of regain control towards the end of that third round. Yeah, Hill just kind of steals it away from you right at the end. So methodical in there. It's really incredible. It's like it's, it's like he's doing a, a school project. It's really amazing. Yeah, it's, it's fun to watch. A technician of the highest order in there. Is Malcolm Hill. And Mike Dorr impressive as well. Good looking young athlete. Just 22 years of age. First time we've seen him here on this promotion. Right there taking the leg out from underneath Malcolm Hill. And you that's what we, we expected Mike to be doing, using that advantage, using that those longer legs to exploit that advantage over Malcolm Hill. 
caught him on the back of the knee and took him off balance. Ready for action in round four here. Hill tries to open up with a right hand, just a feeler. Range finding punch. Oh, big Dorr. right hand by Door. A big right elbow. <laughs> yeah, Door came back with a right elbow try. Now let's see if Door can get the best of Malcolm in the clinch. Hasn't happened much so far. A little bit of a tangled mess going on there. See, just they snap with that jab. Don't just push it in his face. Get that little bit of a twist on it. And Door is a boxer, 12 and 1 as an amateur boxer, so. Interesting. Right there, that's the jab. You know, if you're a boxer, do what you're good at. You know, set the kicks up with the hands. Kind of kind of pushing that jab, though. Body punches, Hill backs away. Right hand caught Hill, and Hill acknowledged it with a nod. Just knows his range so well, doesn't he? Hill just knows right when to be right outside of the strike. Now... Door leaning on Malcolm Hill a little bit in the corner. Again, if our referee looks familiar, that is, in fact, the purple people eater himself, Justin Greskowitz, but no purple hair tonight and no facial hair either, so he's tough to recognize. Great pro fighter turned official here on Friday Night Fights. We're glad to have him. Good knee up the middle by Hill. Very comfortable in the clinch. I think that's spending all that time in Thailand at those gyms. Right hand chops down for Mike Dorr. Now he's leaning on Malcolm in the neutral corner. And Dorr keeps sneaking in that right elbow over the top. It's a good choice of weapons for a tall fighter. Now it's Hoare lean, pardon me, Dorr leaning on Malcolm Hill. As round four comes to a close, left hand sneaks in right at the bell for Mr. Smooth. As the fighters return to their respective corners. Interesting round, tough round to score. Definitely a, a tough round to score. Technical round, not a, not a ton of big blows landed by either guy. And I wonder if Mike Dorr's gotten himself back into this fight a little bit, Jason. First two rounds really seem to be in Malcolm Mill's favor. Last two, a little bit more blurry. Yeah, he's, he's throwing a little bit more. He's staying a little bit more active. But I still think that Hill's kind of stealing it away from him. He's, he's got the more clean and effective strike. I mean, the, the, Door throws those big elbows over the top, but it's very few and far between. One round left at most between these two combatants at 135 pounds. Malcolm Hill, AKA Mr. Smooth, coming in at 24, eight and one, representing the Institute, Muay Thai and Mike Burke. Malcolm originally from Morganville, New Jersey. Meanwhile, Mike Door visiting us from the TriStar Gym in Montreal. Grew up in Montreal after being born in Italy. His family from Burundi in Africa. And now he's making his debut under the bright lights of New York City. Mike Dora reaches out with the right knee and the left knee. Push kick in response from Malcolm Hill. Spray a sweat off that right hand. Slide by Hill's face. Yeah, here's that forward aggression I was talking about. Seems to be a lot more effective when he's coming forward and throwing a lot of strikes. Hill again with the fast feet. Gets out of the oncoming train. That is Mike Dorr. Nice. Oh, Very beautiful. nice. Perfect anticipation by Malcolm Hill, yeah, that Jason. Was, that's experience. Scooped up that leg. The Malcolm push. Ooh, kind of got a little rock there with that right hand, he didn't he? He walked right into the punch from Mike yeah, Dorr. If he would have just stayed back and kept throwing them strikes from a distance, I think it would have been a lot more effective and probably could have caught him with that right hand again. Dorr jumped into the clinch where he'll seem to be the most comfortable with. Yeah, kind of trying to feed Malcolm some of his own medicine here. Yeah, let's stick with that right hand from the outside. Final minute of action here between Hill and Dorr. And make him miss. you got to make him pay. A battle of ring tacticians here. On Friday Night Fights, brought to you by Mohegan Sun, Malcolm Hill trying to win his first fight on Friday Night Fights in more than in, in nearly a year. Last time we saw him in this in, on this promotion, he was 
fighting three guys in the same night. Now he's just got one tall opponent to deal with. Under 15 seconds left in this bout. Hill tries to come over the top of the elbow. Door sticks in a right foot to the midsection. Body lock by Hill. And there is the bell as Malcolm, Mr. Smooth Hill, and Mike, the golden one door, go the distance. Ten minutes of outstanding Muay Thai on Friday Night Fights. Yeah, I, think, I think Mr. Smooth pulled it off. I think those first two rounds might have set Malcolm apart here in this fight. The last three, a little bit more blurry, but Malcolm so confident in his skills and there's that dump look at that picks, picks it up, up grabs him by the back of the head perfect perfect reaction legs Waiting go up yeah legs Wait. go up head goes down perfect timing so connor hall has the scorecards in hand Take a look at some of the action from round number five. And yeah, that's where he caught him on the side of the head with that right hand. It looks like he stunned him just a little bit, but. Short left hook to the temple. Yeah, he'll regain his composure. For the official decision, we send it up to Mr. Connor Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judge's course, scores card, <laughs> scorecard. Judge A sees this 48-47 in favor of the red corner. Judge B sees this 47-48 in favor of the blue corner. Judge C sees this fight 49-46 in favor of, from Montreal, Canada, Mike. Yo! Well, Jason Stroud, I'd be hard pressed to call that an upset victory, but considering the Malcolm Hill pedigree, and we're just used to seeing him get the benefit of the doubt from the judges at ringside with all his outstanding tactical performances, it's Mike Dorr out of Montreal, Canada's Tri Star Gym coming away with the five round split decision win over Malcolm Hill. Pretty interesting fight, interesting result, but I think a pretty pretty fair one. Yeah, that was a good good even evenly matched fight. It'd be tough to call that one. I, I guess I'm not gonna argue with the decision. So Mike, the golden one door in his Friday night fights debut, comes away with the split decision win. And again, Mike wants to remind you that he is fighting for people suffering from mental illness all around the world fighting for mental illness awareness and we congratulate him and the team from tristar his trainer philippe allaire his teammate stephen opong as well and the entire team from montreal great win for mike the golden one door on friday night fights